the House, Aaron Schock of Illinois. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I had the privilege yesterday of traveling with the President to my hometown of Peoria, Illinois, to visit a company that's made the news recently, Caterpillar Corporation. And during that speech, the President had me stand up in front of the hundreds of my constituents and Caterpillar workers and urged them to call on me to support this bill and ask them to approach me after his speech to put pressure on me to vote for this bill. I found it very interesting that after the President finished his speech and I stayed around, not one employee at that facility approached me and asked me to vote for this bill. In fact, I have received over 1,400 phone calls, emails, and letters from Caterpillar employees alone asking me to oppose this legislation. Why? Because they get it. They know that this bill is not stimulus. They know that this bill will not do anything to create long-term, sustained economic growth. This bill is too big to get it wrong. I hail from a district that once had Everett Dirksen, who is famous for a billion here, a billion there. Additional seconds. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Uh, 30 seconds. Everett Dirksen once said a billion here, a billion there. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're now a trillion here, a trillion there. We cannot afford to get this wrong. It is too important to get it wrong. My district also had a man by the name of Abraham Lincoln who served in this seat for two years. We celebrated his 200th birth yesterday. I'm reminded of his quote, what kills a skunk is the publicity it brings itself. Perhaps that is the haste time is by which this bill is being brought forward. I urge a no vote. Gentleman from Wisconsin. I yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from Maryland. Gentleman from Maryland Dr. is recognized for one minute.